Hey y'all, welcome to Sweet Tea and Butterflies. Today we are working on day five of the 12 days of Christmas. Um, it is today, uh, day five's theme is Christmas signs. So I have a cute little project where I have transformed one of Dollar Tree's um, little Christmas signs and I am hoping that you like it. Anyway, sorry, I'm my brain is just not here today. It's Monday. It stayed in bed. It's what happens sometimes. So let's uh, go ahead and get into the project and I can't wait to hear what you think. Oh, and also don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. It really helps my channel grow, and I appreciate all of you that do that watch me on a regular basis. And anybody who's new here from the playlist, uh, I invite you to like, subscribe, comment, share, and join in on the fun. So, now we're going to get into the project. So, as I had stated before, this uh, video is part of a collab, and our hosts are Brenda with Rustic and Lace DIYs, and Krista with Krista's Crafty Life. I will leave the link to the playlist in the description box below, along with the links to each of the hosts' channels as well. Alright, so, I took one of Dollar Tree's um, sled signs and converted it. I took and painted, um, painted it white. I disassembled it. Painted it white <clears throat> with Waverly white, uh, chalk paint. And now I am painting three little snowflakes that, um, I got in one of those boxes at Hobby Lobby that has a bunch of little wood cutouts. So I am now taking this gift bag and I'm going to cut it where I can put it on the sled. So, um, <laughs> I've had this particular project, well, Dee Dee started with this particular project as far as, you know, getting the stuff and wanting to make it because she had seen it somewhere and wanted to do this. Um, and then I decided, well, I'm tired of waiting. We're going to do it. We're going to get it done. I'm not sure what, she, you know, where she came up with the idea um, or where she saw it. So, therefore, I'm not quite sure how they implemented it. But I had to do it in a different manner than what I had originally thought. And you'll see why here in a few, in a few minutes. Um, but anyway, um, I'm trying to get this. Oh, I got the bag cut. So, now I am going to lay down the Mod Podge so that I can um, adhere the bag. It's just a cute little gift bag that I've also had in my stash for a while. So um, I just put on, these gift bags are pretty thick. So um, I put on a decent layer of Mod Podge. I did have to go back around some of the edges and Mod Podge some more and then I ended up still with a few loose edges so I hit those with the hot glue later down the line. Now with these little snowflakes I'm taking and also adding some Mod Podge to those while I have it out 
and I am using some of the ultra fine white glitter just to give it a little bit of sparkle because well for me Christmas time deserves some sparkle there are you know there, there's a lot of creators on YouTube and you know some of us embrace the glitter some of us don't want anything to do with it I embrace it and unfortunately I end up wearing it a lot of the times but that's okay it just means I'm a little sparkly some days who doesn't need a little sparkle in their life occasionally right so anyway as you can see I'm uh, I've taken and use the paper plate to oh pardon me <laughs> it is late <laughs> the night before this video is due and I am feeling it I'm yawning not that I'm not used to being up late I am but for some reason I'm feeling it today so now I'm taking and trimming all the excess off. As you'll see there. And then, uh, and here's where I kind of touch it up around the edges that are, that Mod Podge didn't quite do the trick. <clears throat> I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to go anywhere. We didn't have any loose uh, edges or anything that could come up and, you know, cause the project to come apart. Okay, so these right here are why I was saying, I'm not quite sure where Dee Dee saw this and how the person that she saw using these on here had implemented it. Um... Because normally you would have the, you know, I've got it set up where the sled is going to, where you can hang it on the door using those door hangers. Um, I'm not sure what she had seen or how they had implemented it. And I honestly, I'll be honest with y'all. I fooled around with this after I took it apart for quite a while trying to figure out how to do this. I'm like, what did she see? How, what, you know? So, anyway. Um, so that's what we're doing. That's why I put the bag on in the direction that I did because I knew that it was going to be hanging over a door. So. That's what I did. But I had taken, as you saw there, I had taken some tumbling tower blocks to elevate. Because, um, I mean, when you've got a sled, you don't have the um, those flush, whatever you call them, the, the sled rails or whatever. You don't have those flush to the bottom of the sled. There's usually always brackets there. So... I used some tumbling tower blocks to raise it up a little bit. Now, I guess I was sitting there. <laughs> I thought I cut it cut out where I was fooling with trying to get the AC to turn on. I was using the remote and I had something in the way of the sensor, so I was having to get creative. So I took some of this um ribbon just to kind of finish off those edges where the bag lays down on there and then I trimmed around it um I thought I had trimmed that space there that's concave I thought I had trimmed that out but I guess I didn't but it's fine it'll it'll do I can always go back and, and trim along there later if I need to But um, I was taking, I had a, ran a bead of glue along uh, where the bag met the, the edge of the bag was. And then turned around and ran another bead so that the ribbon 
was secure on both sides. If that makes any sense. And that's what I'm doing here is just making sure that it's secure on both sides, not just the first spot that I glued. And I am forever, <laughs> I am forever forgetting to grab my good scissors when I sit down to craft because I stash those because I use them for either ribbon or cloth only. And, well, I have a husband who thinks that anything is fair game. So I have to stash them. So I had to use the scissors that were right at hand to turn that off. And they're not the best. But they got the job done. So it'll be okay. In fact, he found my stash the other... Found them in my stash the other day. Went to use them to cut something. I was like, don't you touch those scissors. Any of you that craft, especially any of you that sew... You know what I'm talking about. You know. <laughs> Don't mess with the fabric scissors. I learned that one from my mama when she caught me using her fabric scissors. And let me tell you, <laughs> my backside was not comfortable after that. <laughs> so I decided, and <laughs> I got ahead of myself here. I decided to take, and there's little um, red ornaments in the, the wreath, and there's like a little holly thing on the, um, the snowman's hat. So I decided to take and use some puff paint just to give it a little bit more dimension in there. Now, ask me why I did this before I got everything else on there. I don't know. I knew that this had to be a one and done tonight. So, you know, I didn't have time to let that sit overnight to dry before I went on to the next step. So, I kind of made a little bit of a mess with only one spot. I only hit one spot, so I'm good with that. But as I was trying to see, <laughs> it slid down because it's on a slant and it ran right through one of them. But only one, so... It wasn't as big of a disaster as it could have been. Uh, as I had started doing the, the red puffy paint, I was like, what am I doing? I'm not done with the other stuff yet. I'm going to end up screwing this up. Because I, I use more than just the red puff paint on here. But I stopped with the red puff paint until I finished the other stuff. I figured I might as well finish using it while it's out, you know. Um, so here I've got a couple of little picks that um, I kind of I trimmed off the ends and then made like a little swag out of them. I used the ribbon to because I didn't want to mess up any more of the puffy paint. I was trying to get them secured together before I laid them down. And I don't know what I was thinking when I grabbed these, this particular pack of them. I've got several packs of these and some have stars in, on them and some have snowflakes on them. And I guess I grabbed the, the ones with the stars without paying attention to what I was grabbing. The snowflakes would have definitely been a better fit with this. But either way, it turned out cute. Um, it, you know, either way, it's cute. I like it. So here I am fighting with the ribbon, trying to make a bow. I am not the greatest at making like the shoestring bows out of this kind of ribbon and stuff. It's always a fight with me for for me to get those looking halfway decent. And here I'm trying to keep the tails out of the little red berries on the um, snowman's hat. <clears throat> As I dovetail those. 
my little helper abandoned me again tonight. He decided he decided to go cuddle with my husband or something. I don't know. But I don't have a little helper tonight. Which is probably good because he probably would have messed up my puff paint more than I did. Well, I keep saying he. He's old enough now that he should be showing more signs of being a boy cat, if you know what I mean. And he's not. So, I think that the lady I got him from was mistaken about whether it was a he or a she. I'm beginning to think it's a she. Cats are so hard to tell sometimes. But Alright, so I took some um, up on the snowman's hat, I took some green glitter puff paint and went over the little leaves on the snowman's hat with it. And here there were red and silver little ornament balls on this wreath. So I've got some silver glittery puff paint that I used on those. And here we have it. So, y'all, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share, and go check out the playlist, see what all these other lovely crafty ladies have um, in store for you, and I hope you enjoyed what, uh, what I made. Let me know in the comments down below what you think, and thanks so much for watching. Have a good night.